All right, so we're going to use our half angle identity, sine squared theta uh, equals one minus cosine theta over two to uh, evaluate this integral. Uh, so the way that this works is I would first rewrite the sine squared three T part uh, in terms of cosine. And then I have to do some sort of uh, evaluation, right? So observe. What we can first do with this integral is pull this one third out, since that's the constant multiple. You will have it from zero to pi over six of sine squared uh, 3t dt. Okay, now if we make this statement, let uh, sine squared 3t be equal to 1 minus cosine of 2 times your angle. So in this, in this problem, my theta is the 3t. So I have to do 2 times 3t here, divided by 2. That's right. That will become uh, cosine of 6t, right? So this is now going to equal to 1 minus cosine of 6t over 2. So when I rewrite this integral in terms, instead of it being in terms of sine, it's now going to be in terms of cosine. We're going to get one third of the integral zero to pi over six of one minus cosine six t over two dt. Now, what I can do here is that since the one and the minus cosine of six t is being divided by two, I can pull the one half out as well. So if I pull the one half out, then my denominator is no longer gonna be three, it's gonna become a six here, right? We're gonna have one over six times the integral uh, from zero to pi over six of one minus cosine six t dt. Now what I'm going to do is integrate this. Okay, so if I do integrate it, um, the antiderivative of one is t. The antiderivative of negative cosine six t, you just gotta be a little careful here. We know that the derivative of, sorry, the antiderivative of cosine is positive sine. So this will give us negative sine six t. divided by six. So basically whatever whatever um, is in front of your t, that coefficient, uh, informally, you're, you're doing a, a, um, a u sub here, and you all you have to do is just divide by that sum. Uh, sorry, not divide by the sum, but divide by whatever your coefficient is. And of course, we're evaluating this one from t equals zero to t equals pi over six. All right, so for the evaluation now, I'm gonna start back over here again. Uh, we're gonna get one over six times, um, I'll put a smaller parentheses here. One, uh, sorry, pi over six is replacing the t minus sine of pi, sorry, six times pi over six. divided by six minus um, open parentheses, plug in the lower limit of integration, we get zero minus sine of six times zero over six. And now we're gonna work out the computation. So if I take care of six times pi of six, that's just going to leave me with pi since uh, the sixes will cancel. Now, do anybody know what sine of pi is? Isn't it zero? Yes, sine of pi is zero. And if we look at, okay, so we're, we're going to have uh, sine of pi, which is zero, divided by six. So long story short, that's all just zero. Right, so this is going to go away. So we have a zero there. Um, 
On the other side, we have sine of six times zero. Six times zero I know is zero. Do we know what sine of zero is? Also zero. That's right, that's also zero. So this entire piece is gonna be a zero. So if you think about it, we just have uh, one over six on the outside, be a multiplied by pi over six, minus zero, minus zero. So this is now gonna just be one over six times pi over six, which will give us pi over 36 as my uh, final answer, okay? And we're finished. But just note, by the way, before, um, before I pause this video, again, my theta in this problem was 3t. So when I used my half angle identity here, um, I'm, re I'm basically replacing theta by 3t as well. So that's why I got 6t.